Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank sponsor today's video being Tokyo Treat and SecureCo. So with Tokyo Treat, you get up to 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition, and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. Where SecureCo, you receive 20 traditional and authentic artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and one special Japanese tableware. SecureCo also helps in partnering with local Japanese snack makers to continue to share the Japanese culture and traditions that have been passed down for over 100 years. The best part, if you're scared or unsure of actually what is in the box you can just refer to the informational snack guide that will explain each snack item where they're from the ingredients and will provide you more information about the japanese culture so now you might be wondering joel why are you outside and why is it so spooky well because the theme of this month's tokyo treat box is spooktacular snacking so this limited edition box with the halloween themed design offers limited edition spooky Japanese snacks, including the Halloween sweet potato Kit Kat, the infamous Tokyo layer loaf with a maple pumpkin flavor, and so many other really delicious items. And my favorite Tokyo treat item is actually the Kit Kat Halloween sweet potato flavor. It tastes just like a sweet potato casserole. Then the Securico theme box is in collaboration with the local Ibaraki government and they invite you to try Ibaraki's culinary rich treats. Ibaraki being a major agricultural center in Japan, you'll have a variety of crunchy fruity snacks and various flavors in the box, such as the Ibaraki chestnut karinto, Minazuma sweet potato cake, and the Ibaraki blueberry menju. And my favorite this month is the Ibaraki chestnut karinto, which is really crunchy, sweet, and it goes very well with the tea. Super cool treats for a spooktacular time of year. So help support the channel and get $5 off your Securico or Tokyo Treat box by clicking the links down below. And at that, let's get to the rest of the video. By the way, Tokyo Treat also has a giveaway for Halloween in which you can win sweet prizes and even a free Tokyo Treat box. Info is in the link down in the description below. Hey everyone, Joel Anson here. Today I am in Elgin. Elgin, Oklahoma. <clears throat> a little bit in the middle of nowhere, not going to lie, outside, the Pizza Corral, yes, the Pizza Corral. So this is a locally owned and operated pizza restaurant that has a big Chicago deep dish challenge. I've actually never done a Chicago deep dish pizza challenge, so I'm excited to give this a try. Well, kind of excited, this thing is huge. So the challenge itself, you have 30 minutes to complete it. Um, if you fail, the pizza I think is about 25 or 30 bucks, which is super, super affordable. The thing weighs about seven-ish pounds. However, guys, this has five pounds of cheese. Yes, has five pounds of cheese on it, which is absolutely insane. Five pounds of cheese, plus the toppings, plus the dough, et cetera, the sauce, et cetera. I think it is a three topping pizza. I'll get you the exact details. Um, 30 minutes, like we said. So anyway, we'll uh, head on in, we'll have some fun. This is an undefeated pizza challenge. And if we win, we're gonna get $250 cash. Yes, $250. So that's what we're in the quest for today. So 250 bucks, guys. My first Chicago deep dish pizza in rural, rural, rural Oklahoma. We are definitely out in a small town, I'll put it that way. So anyway, let's have some fun, let's eat some food, let's head on in, let's go eat, let's get rocking. All right, everyone, so here we are with the absolutely giant pizza. Like we said, this is thick and there's so much cheese on this. So they do do the deep dish like slightly different here than kind of a traditional Chicago because this way it stays together and there's actually more cheese on it. You know, hey, I mean, people love cheese, people love cheese. They usually, they also have their buffet going on and I'm all about those healthy vegetables, guys, so totally not needed. But I'm gonna like, guys, I say eat your vegetables. This is one time, do what I do. So I'm gonna start actually with a little bit of a salad. Let's get some, uh... oh, let's get some greens in there. But what I went with for topping, so I went with a Canadian bacon or a ham, green peppers, onions, some pepperoni. And the way they layered this, is it's cheese, toppings, cheese, sauce, toppings, cheese. So it's a lot of layers in here. Looks really good. This is what the actual slice looks like. Like I said, definitely, definitely cheesy. So 30 minutes, I do some extra sauce here. So I'm gonna eat a salad. And then we're gonna get started here just momentarily. I'm ready to get started. I think the restaurant is ready. All right, perfect. So how about we get started? Let's say the count of 
That is cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. We'll say uh, maybe five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Thank you. Oh my gosh. That's a mouthful of cheese. It does taste good, but literally a mouthful of cheese. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here with the Pizza Corral taking on their big Chicago deep dish challenge. So like I said, it's super cool to be having a deep dish pizza challenge. I find they're very uncommon. Let's go. And the fact that it's in the middle of rural Oklahoma just makes it even more interesting, but they definitely do a little bit of a different rendition on the Chicago deep dish. I let it cool down, but it was also incredibly stringy like a few minutes ago. Mm, good sauce. And I gotta say, the way they do this here, it's impressive. But they were able to take it out of the pan. So where this differed mostly from the traditional Chicago deep dish is that it was kind of like a layered pizza. It was like, you know, cheese, topping, sauce, lots of cheese, more topping, sauce, etc. Whereas a traditional Chicago deep dish is almost just more like a pan full of sauce and cheese with a few different toppings. A lot of cheese though. Like you said, five pounds. I'll get to a bit more of what I actually thought of the pizza throughout the video, but we just need to give an appreciation for the quality of ingredients, the quality of pizza. I mean, middle of you know rural Oklahoma, I did not know what to expect, but this thing was absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Look at this, I had gloves, I forgot all about them. Well, I might as well throw them on now. I just realized I didn't change my battery, so I should have done that. Let me eat real quick. The other thing I could not get over was the affordability. Like literally, basically this pizza offers, you know, let's say seven or eight, like pretty much eight one pound slices. That is crazy. And for it to be less than $30 is just mind blowing. Like the sheer value of this, you could probably drive from Oklahoma City get this pizza and drive back if you had a small car probably for the same price you could get anything actually in the city for not to mention i really enjoyed this style i get i did get to pick the three toppings uh for the pizza uh while you know they did say people in the past chose all meats i wanted to get some meats and also some veggies in there from health and for preference so with kind of onions green peppers ham and some pepperoni kind of add in a little bit of a difference uh, you know with the flavors etc but I gotta give also a shout out to their sauce their house made sauce dense definitely dense the pizza was by no means dry it was super moist with all that cheese although I wouldn't call it greasy it was just like the perfect amount and this is how you know I let it cool off you eat a little hotter probably if you're eating it casually and it was like so stringy it was it was pretty impressive to be honest like if you want to like cheese pull action this was the pizza for you but that sauce was so delicious and uh, they make it there and it was kind of like a little bit of a sweeter sauce still a little bit of acidity but i love a good kind of like whatever you want to call it marinara pizza pasta whatever sauce and it was delicious i'm trying to get the pieces without the pepperoni first you got pepperoni in half delicious <laughs> So nobody's gotten more than halfway we're about halfway so that's pretty much the majority of the information i'd say i have to give you so like we said a giant chicago deep dish 30 minutes to complete it hoping to get that free uh 25 to 30 dollar pizza again i can't believe how cheap that is and then the 250 dollar cash prize yes that is a, i mean that's a good jackpot 250 dollars so and, and that's about that really um, ultimately when it comes to the difficulty of this this is definitely a mm, high high end intermediate to expert challenge just being both with the size the time limit etc but that's pretty much it everybody so with that i hope you enjoy the rest of the video let me know if you've ever been to a pizza buffet and what you thought of it because this pizza buffet they had here looked fantastic give me a buffet down below maybe a hashtag buffet and at that let's get to the rest of the video and i think we're ish four minutes in going good
really enjoying the flavors. There's a lot of cheese, but no complaints. All right, now we got some pepperoni action in there. And like I said, shout out to them for the authenticity of weighing it out. What's the time there? So about six and a half minutes, everybody. Doing not too bad. Hope we'll be able to keep this up. Definitely very delicious. Can I, put, can I get another thing of sauce like that? Thank you. Alright, we are the furthest anybody's ever gotten. That one's gotten past halfway. So as if we can make it. Up on the sauce. That's about eight and a half minutes in. It is a very dense pizza, like well that cheese. Is that like compact? Not a live one. But she's thick. A lot of food, everybody. Last piece. How we doing for time? There you go, about 13 minutes in. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> I probably called out some wrong times earlier. I was going by my camera timer, but I was probably at least 30 seconds off. Let's get this done. Woo! No shortage of food, though, I'll tell you that much. The thick pizza. Excuse me, comments to the chef. Leave no doubt. Oh, and we are finished. And that slid for a second. That scared me. Crazy. All right, guys. 14.41 is the official time. Thank you so much. So with that, we do get the pizza for free. We do get 250 bucks, which is pretty cool. We also have Conquer. The undefeated pizza challenge. So I know there's been a number of attempts. No one's been able to get past half, so I'm glad we were finally able to give them a winner. Huge shout out to the staff. They've been super, super, super friendly. They actually, uh, whew, excuse me. 
I got a burp. It's in there. Excuse me. Whew. There it goes. Like a chef. Thomas and Chef. Actually, really enjoyable. I wasn't sure how five pounds of cheese was going to be. But I got it today. It was good. Really nice taste in sauce and toppings and everything. The dough was really nice. I can't believe they sell that for like, what was it, 20, 25, 20 bucks, like 25 bucks or something? Guys, the amount of cheese in that probably costs near that much. It's insane. So <laughs> the value is incredible. Um, it was a good pizza. I definitely enjoyed it. It is a, you know, a Chicago deep dish done slightly different, you know, so it's not like cheese and sauce on top. It's like in the, all the layers. But uh, yeah, no complaints. Definitely enjoyed that. It was very, very good. Um, and that's pretty much that, you know, I mean, they do have a buffet. I don't think I'm going to have any more pizza, but <laughs> apparently they offer it, I think, at least five days a week, maybe seven days a week. Um, they, uh, one thing, though, is they do have some gelato up there. Maybe, 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 maybe I'll try that. Just because gelato at a pizza shop in a very rural Oklahoma, I think that's a pretty cool, pretty cool thing. You know, I wasn't expecting it. But, uh, so that's pretty much that, guys. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, if you're definitely in the Elgin area, Elgin, Oklahoma, stop on by. I feel there's an Elgin around Chicago as well. I feel like I was there. Sounds really familiar. Ironic, that's a Chicago deep dish, you know, deep dish pizza in Elgin, because I'm sure there's one in around Chicago. But anyway, guys, like I said, really good cool place, Pizza Corral, would recommend stop on by. Huge thanks to all staff. And that's about that, guys. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. And uh, of course, till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. And I will say, let me know, have you ever had a deep dish pizza? And what do you think of it? Like, are you team deep dish or team regular? We did also get our 250 bucks, which is pretty dang cool. Like I said, huge shout out to the staff. Everybody here has been awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate you guys. Of course, until next time, have a lovely, happy eating. Have a lovely day. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. I totally appreciate you. Uh, you guys rock, really. Because of you, make the world go around, makes this channel happen. So thank you guys, honestly, from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you. Have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.